We are in the Tana Woodway. And I'm going to see through my running loops and trying to choose a representative chunk of the loops I would run or meaningful. I have decided um, this is my hill that I learned, well not learned, I guess. I am my, co my own coach. I started running in 2006. And this is a path I chose intentionally, deliberately to teach myself to run downhill because I was really bad at it. So this is the downhill. It's a little bit of a ways. And um, what happens is I would run year round and this stretch right here, the side of the road, um, it rains a lot in Seattle and there's a bunch of trees, a bunch of foliage. And what happens is this would get all covered. This would get all covered with leaves and stuff. And so one misstep and I would slip and skid. So I had to, and the rain would make it slick and the ice would make it slick, you know, that kind of stuff. So I had to learn to running downhill when it's dry and paved is easy. Um, for some people, for me, it was a struggle, but then I added, you know, wet leaves, rain, sleet, ice, whatever <laughs> on top of it. And it was like a slip and slide. So I had to learn to be very cautious with the placement of my feet. And I had no coach. I did not run um, cross country, ran track and field one season for my high school in 2007. And we did not do this kind of stuff. And our coach was kind of, he was older. So we kind of actually got to teach her, coach ourselves, even when we were on the team, because he was kind of tuned out and more geared towards cross country, which I didn't do. So I kind of got like left out a little bit. <laughs> um, so I kind of even served as my own coach there as well. But the teammates were helpful in directing and stuff, um, especially when it came to competition time, because I hadn't competed and uh, most of them had. Um, so yes, and this was my, one, one of the running trails I ran a lot because it was in the shade. It's in the shade. This is a, today is Monday, 7 August, 2023. And I wasn't going to do this, but my elliptical broke, um, or malfunctioned, I guess is the correct term, uh, seven, uh, seven to eight minutes into my workout. And so, uh, here we go. So this kind of stuff. Would also, the needles, so pine needles were um, big here too. Uh, they would fall and I would have to learn to run on them and tread lightly, so to speak, while still moving fast. Um, but my elliptical malfunctioned and is not working. Uh, like it should. So I need to take it apart and inspect it. I put it, it was a, I assembled it myself. It came in a box and then I assembled it and then I took it apart and then assembled it to my moving here. Uh, and so <laughs> my dad mentioned it sounds loud. And so, uh, but he didn't put it together. So maybe it'll be a team effort. Um, we'll see. In the past he's fixed this stuff, and, but since I assembled it, I might know better. <gasps> Um, yeah, but anyway, so this is Woodway. This is my rep representative or portion of importance for my running history and training. So I still use this loop to present for training. Um, yeah, but running downhill. The hill I just walked is a, there's an importance there. Oh, and I used to run through here and I would dream about one day racing in a stadium with real trees or on a course with real trees with the red squirrels. Um, look at this. Uh, with the red squirrels and the gray squirrels and other native wildlife in the trees, you know how humans bet on racehorses? The squirrels would bet on the human runners. So I would dream about that as I was running through here. I'm um, on my way, walking out here on the street, um, over here. I was a, I heard a red squirrel calling and I was like, God meant for that malfunction today. Allah almighty, you know, um, for me to be out here. So there we go. Uh, happy walking and talking and filling in town of Woodway running loop history and the significance of this hill, which is one I selected for myself and learned to run downhill.